Hello everybody and bright blessings. Lady Leanna here with another edition of Wicca for Today. And lately I have had a flood of youngsters coming onto the show and watching and that makes me feel really good. All the little folk coming in and, and being a part of the show and, and coming up early in life as far as the craft is concerned. And I'm talking about ages 11 through 13 mainly. That's the recent flood over the past week. And, um, and they all have a certain amount of concerns because a lot of them are not able to burn candles in their house or are not able to burn incense and they had questions as to whether they could alternate or if there is something that could be alternated uh, for this and that's pretty easy a lot of them are worried that you can't go without using candles and that's just not true a candle is a tool on your altar or in your altar room like any of your other tools and there is always an alternate for this you know but do bear in mind that one of the main things that we uh, use candles for is to draw energy from it now you've still got to have something that you can draw this energy from and so I have a perfect solution for you lamps little electrical lamps now bear in mind that electricity could still be dangerous and so I definitely don't want to mislead you in any way and say that this is a totally safe thing to do because it's not it electricity is as dangerous as fire it just isn't as easy to start a fire with it and so you need to be very careful but a lot of parents will allow you to have a little lamp you know and this throws out a hot energy this is electricity and it is definitely an energy you could draw from now mind you it is an energy that can kill too just like fire but it is a safer bet it is more accepted by parents and so this is what I suggest for you to try now here is what you can do you can get a dark colored lamp preferably one that isn't shaped like a superhero figure or anything with a face on it or anything bulky you want it to be re relatively small as with the bulbs on it also you know you want it to have a dark cord you don't want anything eye-catching you know so basically just stay with dark colors as far as the lamp stay with dark cording also you know with a little shade or no shade you know now the cords could be also dangerous dangling down to each side of your altar because you're going to set one lamp on each end of your altar okay but the cords draping down the sides could also be dangerous since we move around our altars uh, to conduct our circle to create our circle you know so we have to be very careful about that and not trip over the cords or bring the lamp flying off of the altar and break your bulbs and so forth you know you don't want to do that and if you do break your bulbs you need to unplug it first just remember always unplug it first but uh, here's a suggestion for you if you can get your parents to buy you a table or if you can get a table that would be very nice to be used as an altar you could actually drill a quarter size hole or just slightly larger than that into the altar on each end okay and you can connect them in together with an extension cord underneath and just run one cord out from underneath the altar and into the nearest plug-in socket or have your altar just right up against the wall to where it'll plug directly into the socket and then you won't have to worry about a cord being in your way at all and then you would use your two lamps one on each side you know this is the best method for alternating a candle for something that would conduct just as much if not more energy actually um, and the bulbs you would want to get colored bulbs like for instance I use a purple candle as a guide candle on my altar 
and I use a black candle as just a energy uh, drawing candle. So you would want to maybe get a black light bulb and a purple bulb. These two can be found. Or you can even find in the Christmas section on Christmas left and right orange bulbs that resemble firelight bulbs. And you can actually burn those. And maybe just tie a little piece of yarn of the colors I indicated, black and purple, around the base of your, of your lamp. You know, for the symbology of color, by the way. Now, your incense is another big issue. A lot of people aren't able to burn incense and the coals burn very hot. If they fly off your altar, then it will definitely burn a hole through your carpet and I would lay a wager that it would also burn a hole through the wooden floor underneath. Those coals are something else and I'm talking about coals as small as a cone incense, okay? Or as your little charcoal disc that you put your herbs on. So the alternates for that would be to get a little electrical uh, oil burner and you can find those either in your kitchen wares or in your basic house wares around your aromatherapy. You know, but a little basic oil burner of some sort would do the trick, but make sure it's an electrical one because there again you're running into the same problem of not being able to burn a candle there. All of these suggestions work likewise with people that are in Christian homes and are not allowed to be who they want to be. And we find this situation a lot in life. Believe it or not, you're not alone. And I get uh, notes and letters from people in these situations all the time. Either kids that are not allowed to burn candles or incense because they're too young, or adults that are living with other family members who are very judgmental or condescending to anything that they would try to do. So these are some, some really good suggestions for you. Now, also you may have trouble with the athame department, so I thought I would go ahead and slide that in for you. Although I'll cover athames on its own show here in the near future anyway. But uh, as far as athames, you don't necessarily have to use a knife or a blade. As a matter of fact, you know, you could use a wand. It would be the same principle. A lot of people feel more kindred with the athame, so they would find athames made out of wood if they're not allowed to have a blade. Or a cattle horn athame, which is what I started out with in my earliest days. It was a two-sided uh, bladed athame that was made out of cattle horn, green and gray and white, I believe it was. But it's really cute and it did the job and it was bought by a friend of mine and I thought, wow, this is really nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this one and empower it and it's made of an old natural uh, material, no less. So, so there's an idea for you on athame if you're not allowed to work with blades or whatnot. All right, well, if there are any other questions, and I'm trying to think of anything else I could help you with while I'm here. Oh, saging your circle. Oil burners and oils, for one thing, for the scent in the air. But did you know that you could use a Buddhist singing bowl to actually cleanse the air around? Or certain tones. You could use a regular altar bell for cleaning the air around you through vibration. Did you know that? Like, so for, you know, one of those little chime bells that they used the little stick with in the old days to call you in for supper, a regular little altar bell, if it is a high-pitched tone, and a singing bowl are three perfect alternatives to saging your house, and this also good for kids. So there's something for you to, to think about, all right? If I can answer any more questions, don't hesitate but to ask. And I'm starting to get a lot more people trying to talk to me. So if I am not able or if I don't see your comment, I'm very sorry. I try to talk to and answer everybody that I possibly can. 
but more than anything if I'm able to I try to make a video based around that especially when there are a lot of people asking the same questions so you know do ask your questions and if I'm not able to get to it also someone else would answer in the discussion boards below I assure you and that's why we actually do this while we communicate together and in the Wicca community in the witches community the pagan community we're all of a great help and we try to be we aspire to being you know wherever I'm not able to get to answering your question I'm sure somebody on the channel somebody that that follows the channel will be more than glad to answer that for you uh, until the next show bright blessings and merry part bye bye